going on? I hope y'all are having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video for my very first black metal experience. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Today we're gonna be reacting to the band Dimmu Borger. Hope that's how you say it. A symphonic black metal band from Norway. So I'm really excited to see what this is all about. The song we're gonna be reacting to today is called The Serpentine Offering. Let's jump right into it. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. And while you're down there, there are the new Richard the Llama shirts available. They look like this. He's a fucking llama rocking the Have a Dope Ass Day shirt, which is super awesome. Little incentive for you guys. There have only been 24 people who have ordered the shirts. <laughs> So if you like your odds, one person who buys the shirt, I'm gonna send them a box filled with metal stuff, hundreds of dollars worth of metal stuff. This is all duplicates and stuff that you guys have sent me. We got some DVDs, Lamb of God, Metal the Headbanger's Journey. We got a Rammstein DVD in concert. We got Metallica Through the Never. You got a ton of different CDs, Deftones, Arch Enemy, Soil Work, a bunch of different stuff. Dio, Corn, hella stuff. So a big box of metal stuff and all you have to do is buy a shirt to get a chance to win and I will send that box to one of you guys. So link to that will be down below in the description. I'll make sure to snag a shirt. Anyway, let's go. So excited for some black metal. Yeah, kind of nervous, honestly, but let's get into it then. the speed of the playing and the precision and technicality of the band is super on point. Like I've seen the drummer do some amazing work, which is really cool. I always like to mention the drummer's skill just because I, you know, love the drums. It's pretty fucking cool. And then everybody's just on point. Really, really technical stuff so far.
Wow. So, okay, that was really, really entertaining and super cool. Like, I did not expect to like it that much. And it's weird for me because I want to know what type of music black metal is. So, for instance, like, death metal, it's like kind of a horror movie, but in music form, and that's kind of my interpretation of it. But what is black metal? And then this is known as symphonic black metal, so, like, I know that symphonic metal is completely different than just regular metal, so maybe symphonic black metal is completely different than normal black metal, but I just don't know what type of music black metal is. Nonetheless, this was interesting. Maybe it's some, like, not satanic music by any means just satanic in the sense that maybe God didn't create us it's like more of an evolutionary thing which is like that satanic side so maybe it's just like questioning religion and that's kind of what black metal is but the things that I noticed about this song dude like I said were the technicality of it everybody was on point and the speed and precision I feel like whenever you're playing at such a high speed it, you have to be very precise in order to make that happen so this band was really talented on a technical term the catchiness and the melodic aspects to the lyrics I was not expecting that in a black metal song I didn't know what to expect really but I did not expect this much catchier than I anticipated. This definitely exceeded my expectations. Now, talking about the meaning of the song, I feel like there are so many layers to it. For me, I feel like if I were to give my interpretation of it, I think that it would just be skimming the surface at a very light level. So I wanted to do a little bit of research. Found that the music video begins with Christian Crusaders raiding a Lithuanian village and slaughtering innocent people. Here, a priest's assistant is shown a dislike killing people just because of faith. When Crusaders find a woman who had just given birth hiding in the barn and set it a fire to incinerate her, the priest's assistant leaves to the forest where he pulls off and throws to the ground the Christian cross he was wearing, symbolizing his rejection of Christianity. Later, a group of Lithuanians are shown in the cave, in the forest, and later, around a fire. In the end of the video, they attack and win the battle against the Christian Crusaders. So, okay, like I said, it definitely got some religious undertones to it, and talks about that at a more dynamic, uh, analytical level, so I think that that's really cool. And again, that's one of the many reasons that I love metal, is because the substance of the lyrics is just so fucking intense. Makes you be stimulated up here, as well as a treat for your ears, so this was super cool. Definitely exceeded my expectations. Gotta check out some more black metal, so that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this on the screen, this video in general. That is all I got for you today, so keep smiling. Keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact, though. Yeah. Peace!